Hello, how are you doing today? Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about dark web. It's a topic that's always intrigued me, and I'm sure many of you share this curiosity. But before we start, I want to make it clear that I won't be opening Tor to give you a dark web tour in this video due to ethical considerations. Instead, we'll explore what it is, how it works, and its implications from a safe distance. So, are you ready to uncover the truth about the dark web? Let's get started. The dark web is a part of the internet that isn't indexed by search engines. It's like an iceberg, with the surface web being the visible part and the deep web being the submerged part. The dark web is a small but significant part of the deep web. It's not just about illegal activities, it's also a haven for whistleblowers and activists. <laughs> to access the dark web, you need special software like Tor. Tor stands for the onion router because it layers your internet connection like an onion, making it hard for people to see what you're doing. It uses a series of virtual tunnels rather than making a direct connection, allowing people to browse the web anonymously. While the dark web is often associated with illegal activities, it also serves many legitimate and ethical purposes. In countries with authoritarian governments and stringent internet restrictions, the dark web can be a lifeline for citizens. It allows them to bypass government censorship and access information freely. Encrypted email services like Proton Mail offer an extra layer of anonymity. These services, supported by the Tor network, protect user privacy and combat censorship. Whistleblowers and others who need to communicate sensitive information often use the dark web. SecureDrop is one of the famous communication software that uses the Tor network to facilitate anonymous communication between sources and journalists. Sometimes international governments block news websites. The dark web can combat this kind of censorship. News organizations like ProPublica, The New York Times, and the BBC have launched dark web versions of their websites on the Tor network. Even the CIA has a presence on the dark web. This allows people who want to contact the CIA but are concerned about being tracked to do so anonymously. Remember, while the dark web can be used for illegal activities, it also has many legitimate uses. It's a tool, and like any tool, its use depends on the intentions of the user. Cybercrime is a significant issue on the dark web. It's a marketplace for illegal activities where anonymity is preserved. Hackers can sell stolen data, like credit card numbers, personal identification information, and even intellectual property. They can also sell tools for hacking, like viruses, ransomware, and botnets. But it's not just about selling, it's also about collaboration. Cyber criminals often use the dark web to communicate and collaborate, sharing hacking techniques and coordinating attacks. Moreover, the dark web also hosts a grim trade in illegal goods and services beyond cybercrime. This includes illicit drugs, firearms, counterfeit currency, and even human trafficking. However, it's important to note that law enforcement agencies worldwide are working tirelessly to combat these illegal activities. They are continuously developing new techniques and technologies to track down and apprehend cyber criminals operating on the dark web. So, while the dark web can be a dangerous place, it's not a lawless wasteland. There are risks, but there are also people working hard to mitigate those risks and bring criminals to justice. Understanding the dark web is crucial for cybersecurity. It's not just about defense, it's also about offense. Companies can monitor the dark web for stolen data or threats. This proactive approach allows them to identify breaches early and take action before significant damage occurs. Interestingly, dark web activity has increased by 300% in the last three years. 
This growth is driven by various factors, including the increasing value of personal data and the growing sophistication of cyber criminals. However, it's also driven by the increasing awareness and use of the dark web for legitimate purposes. Despite the challenges, there are also opportunities. For example, law enforcement agencies can use the dark web to infiltrate criminal networks and gather intelligence. They can also use it to track down cyber criminals and bring them to justice. Just like search engines use crawlers to index the surface web, specialized web crawlers are used to explore and index the dark web. These crawlers follow links and gather information about websites on the dark web. By analyzing network traffic, intelligence teams can identify patterns and connections between different entities on the dark web. This can help them track the activities of specific individuals or groups. Sometimes the best way to understand the dark web is to become a part of it. Undercover operations involve agents posing as users or vendors to gain the trust of cyber criminals and gather intelligence. Many transactions on the dark web use cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. By analyzing the graph of transactions such as which addresses are sending or receiving cryptocurrencies and when, patterns can start to emerge. Intelligence teams can track the flow of money and potentially identify the individuals involved. For example, if a particular address is frequently involved in large transactions, it might be a marketplace or a whale, a term used to describe individuals or entities that hold large amounts of a particular cryptocurrency. Remember, the dark web offers anonymity, it's not absolute. With the right tools and techniques, it's possible to track activities and enforce the law even in this hidden part of the internet. All right, while the dark web poses significant cybersecurity challenges, it also offers opportunities for defense, offense, and intelligence. By understanding the dark web, we can better protect ourselves and our data in the digital age. Well, that's it for our deep dive into the dark web. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech insights.